Okay, today we're not going to talk about anything other than I don't know how many times I've been going around looking for people to stop me from getting involved with a lot of times not knowing how many times I'm going to be inserted into someone else's little league game. Nevertheless, I don't understand how to get involved with something bigger like um, a multi-million dollar contract with Warner Brothers. I thought about how lovely it'd be to be Tiger Woods, but then again, it's kind of two-dimensional after a little bit of a while. I mean, you do the same thing over and over. Whereas if you're uh, anyone else, you can do lots of I got to get more involved with seeing how many times it takes to cross a train track before you um, celebrate living another, I don't know, how long would you do that for, an hour and a half? When I was young, I used to take quarters and put them on the train tracks and then peel off to the side and wait for the train to come. The train came across the tracks and ran over the quarters, making them like slugs, very thin pancakes. Very thin pancakes are known as Finnish pancakes. In Finland, they speak a very strange language with a very strange occupation called Finnish carpentry. Uh, probably uh, there are no better finishing carpenters than Finlanders. Finishing carpenters. Finnish people. Um, one time when I was really stupid, uh, someone gave me something that they said was a ground up um, a cactus. And uh, they said, um, just drink it. And, you know, it was just all ground up and like mush. And um, I didn't know what it was. It could have been Play Doh for all I know. But I was kind of looking for a thrill, so um, I took the dare and I downed this concoction. Later on, I wondered if it was the best idea, given the fact that um, I'm never going to really tell you uh, what happened after that, because um, I don't really know what was in that concoction. Did you ever hear about the Major League Baseball pitcher uh, who had a day off and he took LSD? No? Well, he wasn't scheduled to pitch, but something happened and the manager made a pitching change. And he ended up starting the game. And he ended up finishing the game. He threw a no-hitter. He was high on LSD. True story. What do we know about the Hollywood elite? I know the true story of what's going on with QAnon. And I don't think too many of you have figured it out yet. Little bits and pieces, but most of the QAnon people, so stupid, really can't figure it out. You know, do you want me to tell you? Okay, this is the way it's going to be presented to you. QAnon is going to make it seem like there's a horrible, 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 horrible bunch of satanic Luciferians that are on the loose on planet Earth. And uh, they're going to have some of you convinced. Some of you uh, are going to say, it's, um, I never heard of this QAnon, huh? Some of you are going to say, um, uh, I'm going beer drinking this afternoon. I don't want to hear nothing more. I'm sick of COVID-19. I don't want to hear about QAnon. I don't want conspiracy theories. I really want to talk about baseball. Nevertheless, uh, do you remember there was a movie, a Michael Douglas movie called The Game? 
Okay. In the Michael Douglas movie, The Game, Michael Douglas's character ends up uh, getting very paranoid because um, he was a wealthy man, but all of a sudden it seemed like the world was against him. And do you want a spoiler alert? Okay, Jeopardy players, if you're still here, here's your spoiler. In the end, it turns out that it was all a big game. It was a big put on by a bunch of people, a whole pile of people. And the Michael Douglas character in the end was like, wow, that was the best birthday present I ever had. Now, you follow that and it's a same kind of thing except the whole thing is being played on the worldwide population. And maybe it's difficult for you to see it all, but the whole plot is basically um, getting you all to do stupid things because you follow um, it's you. How dumb are you? And some are so dumb, they do whatever the television tells them to do. Or if you don't watch television, but, you know, someone else does, uh, sooner or later you're going to hear about things. And the next thing you know, you're going to find out from your friends that the government has mandated a quarantine where you got to stay at home. And maybe if you're in the United States, you get a small check. And maybe if you're in some other country, you don't get bugger all. Time goes on, time goes on. Time goes on, time goes on. All kinds of other things come up. All kinds of other stories come up. A million different conspiracy theories start getting tied in. Even the extraterrestrials get tied in. Even this crazy idea of like a rapture of all the Christians and like left behind. It's all a Hollywood script because the president of the United States is a Hollywood celebrity called Donald Trump. And some people have even made up a bullshit story that Donald Trump's uncle was um, good friends with um, the inventor Nikola Tesla, who apparently had all kinds of secrets on all kinds of things like free energy, but uh, he was blocked from using them by uh, the evil banker um, Morgan. Anyways, the whole point of the thing is, uh, I mean, people keep saying, um, I'm having a hard time getting it out to you. Tom Hanks, some people are going, he's a horrible person, but I'm telling you, he's a good actor. And, you know, they're using multimedia like Twitter and things. Um, so you're trying to, like, put it all together and you're thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. But the final takeaway is going to be the best gift you can possibly get. And that is, eventually, you are going to come to discover all the suicides are faked. All disease is hypnosis. In other words, there are no viruses. There are no infectious agents. And in fact, you have been brainwashed into thinking that you are a body 
and what you really are is probably hard to put into words. But I always say on this channel, you are a speck of awareness in perhaps a quantum field. And somewhere, somehow, there are magicians who know how to set up this quantum field for you to experience things. And as much as you think you're doing things through your body, it's a massive illusion. But before you get that far, you might want to find some psychedelics like cactus and, uh, you know, see if you can grow them in a pot in a sunny window in your New York rent-controlled apartment until you get up the courage or you've drank enough tequila to decide you're going to put this cactus into a coffee bean grinder, grind it all up, and then wash it down with a lot of water because it's very waxy substance, just to see if indeed cactus is something that will give you a psychedelic drip. I don't know what to tell you about NASCAR, except most young people if they see those cars, they think, wow, I bet you that thing goes fast, it'd be fun. But, you know, how many of us on this planet get a chance to really, really, really drive a fast car fast? Actor Paul Newman got actor Tom Cruise involved in race cars. Does it mean you have to have lots of money? Anyway, when I was very young, maybe I was 11, they had those go-karts, you know? They were powered by a lawnmower engine. And I got went around on the go-kart, not long enough. It was fun. I got to finally drive. It wasn't super fast, but it was very fun. Unfortunately, that go-kart uh, track was in another city, and I had to go back to my really backwoods, backwoods, backwoods city where pretty much we didn't have like go-karts. We had bumper cars. There was a traveling, what do you call it? It's like traveling rides for a fair, a summer fair. And they would set up the rides and we'd go on the rides. And the zipper was um, a rough ride. There wasn't enough padding in it. You were going upside down and backwards and banging your head on the steel cage. Another time there was this uh, thing that you... It spun around with lots of centrifugal force and you stood against the back wall and just, just spun you and you couldn't l push yourself away from the back. You were just like, you know, it just forces you back. And they had all these colored lights in the center of this wheel that was spinning around. And when I was on this ride one time, the lights, they were like long fluorescent fluorescent tubes in the middle. And they let go, and the lights broke, and all the glass came flying towards me. I didn't get hurt, 